we will be learning a few things like some sql things store procedures and how we can uh, like proceed with this uh, migration kind of things so let's flip to the sql server so i can explain you the use case so you can see how uh, this is our table one table that i created that name is employee and if i query this table select static from employee i have four records and uh, it's like a employee record first name last name job title salary and you see some of the job title are missing so the data is inconsistent let's suppose due to any reason this table does not have the good data but at the same time we have another same data source which is considered okay this data source is a uh, correct we have the authentic data in this database and you see this is another table uh sorry another database that is your management system okay and this uh, another one is your target that you have to put all the data into the target table so this is our source database we have to migrate the data from this source table that is our this employee and it has all the consistent data to this target table so how we can use uh, the lot how we can migrate the lot there are lots of thing but Uh, in this video, we will keep it as simple. We will be using the ATO.NET, and we will be using the migration. And how we can do that? First of all, we will create a store procedure to insert all the record in bulk. So this is my target uh, database and target table. So I will be going in this. Just refresh it. So I can see the database here. I recently created. You see. Uh, i can create a store procedure by writing this command uh, so there is a syntax i'm not going to write the syntax i already have written the store process i am going to paste it and if you want to learn the store process you can explore it on the internet and i i already had created a the video on the store procedures almost 7 or 6 years ago so like i will put the Think of that thing in my description. So for now, I am copying and paste that. We'll just explain it. Okay. Before proceeding with the store procedure, I would like to add one more thing. I created a type. So what is this type? You can see in this programmatically, and there is a folder you will see type. In this type folder, you will find a few more folders: system data types and user defined data types. and user defined table type so i created a table type you see how you can create you just have to write create type employee type as table and i have rest of the thing i have copied the same column that i had in my uh, source column so i just copied it and pasted it over here this is what uh, what is this type type is like a object in sql server through which we can pass a multiple row uh through the client application without you know having the multiple round table let's suppose i have to migrate 50 records so what i will be doing do i have to pass each record you know each iteration and that means uh, the 50 round trips of the database that will not be good so what i will be doing i will be passing a data set directly complete set of rows at once so uh, once the sql server gets all the rows it will execute the query so this in this matter the kind of scenario this type can help us so i just created this now and you can make sure by checking that your type is being created now it's time to create the store procedure now you can come to my store procedure so i created the store procedure actually remove this creating it a first time So create store procedure and this should be your store procedure name and this uh, would be my input uh, what you what you say the type i created here 
okay and this is the syntax you begin and end in the begin and between the begin and end you have to write all the, the sets of your query the query you want to execute so what i have written so i'm going to merge that table like uh, merge into employee as target using employee as source so i'm matching on target that employee id equals to source id if it is matches that means you have the record then you do the update update each column and if it is not match we are going to insert a new record that means if we have the already have the records we will be just updating that record making the data authentic from our authentic data source and if it is not in our uh, target database target table so we'll be inserting this one more thing you will be noticing that i am disabling the identity because you cannot insert by the id we are inserting the employee id as well if you want to con uh, let's suppose your case is like you want to keep the id same in both table source and destination and in your destination your target table uh, you cannot insert the id because it's also a primary key identity there so for that I have disabled it in this store procedure set identity insert employee off and now it's time to execute this all right we are done let's check this whether we have this or not in the store procedure you see I got it here okay now we have to go to the visual studio for our code Alright, so first of all, this is my console application too, which I am working on. Ignore rest of the things. So you can see I have only one connection string. Now I have to, for the migration, I will have to add another one. And I will name it as source. Another one is target. Let's flip to here. management system target so change the database name management system target okay that's all now go to the program file and here i have migrated all you know separate in the last video what i have created i just put encapsulate in one method and that i will be migrating in this data access later on so for now i just emptied this main method to make you explain now my connection string one is my connection string is source one is target so let's copy the source one first first we will fetch the data using the data adapter we will fill the data into the data table and then we will insert in other table the target table so that's very easy thing we will write using sql connection and the connection source connection let's name it as source connection equals to new this and let's pass the connection target now sql data adapter data adapter equals to new sql data adapter and here we have to pass the query for that we can also make the store procedure but for now Let's just take all the parameter from employee. And here we need the connection. This connection, source connection. Oh, we name it as wrong target. We have to name it as source. Now we need a data table first. Data table. Data table equals to new data table. And connection dot oh, data adapter dot fill. Where to fill the data in this table? that will fill your data 
before that connection okay that will fill the data in this data table for checking purpose let's i copied this line for printing what is my data table name let's put it here data table dot cross and let's try to print what is it is printing the data is coming in this data table or not we are successfully fetching yes we are able to fetch 25 records so our next step is to insert into our target table so what we will be doing let's remove this code for the printing one now target this based although i'm not following the best practices only i'm just explaining the concept so don't get worried about we can do that as well but for in in a video it is really difficult to do all the things together so let's make this target and make sure that the spelling is same from here yep now i'm copying this code I'm going to paste it over here, but I'm going to change this. I'm going to make it as target connection. Here I don't need the SQL adapter. SQL command command equals to new SQL command. And what will be the command? Here we will pass the store procedure. and we need the target connection okay and command dot command type command dot command type equals to this is not text store procedure okay connection dot open Target connection dot open. And command dot execute non query. Okay, that will execute the query. Oops, not end execute. And let's check the store procedure name. What was the store procedure name? This was our store procedure name. Let's copy this. And come over here and paste this name. So this will uh, do what exe execute our store procedure. Target code. Let's spread this migration done. So this is uh, data migration. small basis we are migrating the data from one table to another from one data source to another of the one table to another so before running this project i would like to show you again that what we have you see in the target table we have this and if i go in my source system that is this and copy the same query see, you see on the uh, line number 1 in that source table on the manager is 7000 and his employee id is 1 in the other one let's close this up now we don't need this in another one i also have a employee id 1 but his name is john but last name is different but the and maybe the salary is also different so when i will run this program it will update this record till 4 because here it is, i have the four records In rest of the records, the new records will be inserted. So let's go and run this project. Hope oh, I don't have any error. So let's check. See, it's telling that migration is done. Now go back here. This which one? This is our target one. See, this is target one. Now try to run this. Execute. Oh no 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 no! It did not happen. Why? Let's check it out. We have to find what happened. Why it did not happen? Yes, obviously. What mistake I have made? I did not pass the parameter. I created the type, but I did not pass it. What did not pass? That this data table I could not pass. So I have to write a line over here. That was my mistake. Very silly. Okay, you see this line. Command dot parameters dot add with values. 
employees and this data table what we fetch from our source all the records that are that all the rows that are that are inserted in the data table we are passing in one parameter and through the employee type it will go to at once to the SQL server you can see here again go to the type and see why I'm passing this like a script see employee types as table okay and in store procedure I name it as an input parameter what is my input parameter it's like employees the input parameter name would be this employees Not responding. No worries, we don't waste the time. Just go back here and try to run this. Start the program. What it does is telling that migration is done now. Okay, it's also responding now. You see this employees, this parameter I'm passing over here. Okay, now it's done, and we have to go to the target table. Where is our target table query? This is our source. This is our target. Let's execute and you see all the records has been updated and a new one also inserted. I hope you like this video. If you really like, then like, share and subscribe. I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.